Good morning, Greater Latrobe. From the WCA TTV studios, I'm your host, Joe Kozich. Next week, all students in grades 9 through 12 will have the opportunity to explore a variety of jobs and careers during our first ever Wildcat Career Week. Students will be emailed a link to a special new website called the 2021 Virtual Summit that will have over 70 10-minute career videos. These videos are created specifically for Greater Latrobe students by professionals and companies in our community and beyond, many of whom are Wildcat alumni. We will also have a daily raffle for a chance to win gift cards by watching these videos. Every day next week is an opportunity to win. Be sure to check your email on Monday, March 8th for more info on how to participate. Any student interested in entering the 25th Annual National Student Poetry Contest sponsored by the American Library of Poetry should contact Dr. Bompiani Smith. The deadline to enter is April 30th. Each student can enter one poem up to 20 lines. The Wilmerton Community Pool is seeking five certified lifeguards to work part-time this summer. Applicants should be at least 16 years old and Red Cross certified or planning to be certified before Memorial Day weekend. Please see Mrs. Scala in room C-104 for an application this week. Completed applications are due on Friday, March 12th. In addition, if you are a lifeguard or are currently being certified, Latrobe Pool is hiring lifeguards for this summer. Applications should be picked up at the Parks Department in town. Applications are due by March 17th. Interviews will be held at the end of March. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Schmeling in the Junior High Room A201. We go to Ethan, Missouri for the three-day forecast. Good morning, Wildcats. It's time for your local weather report. Today, it will be partly sunny with a high near 38 and a low of 22. The chance for precipitation is about 2%. Tomorrow, we'll have partly cloudy skies with a high near 37 and a low of 19. The chance for precipitation is about 5%. And on Sunday, we'll have sunny skies with a high near 41 and a low of 22. The chance for precipitation is about 3%. That's all for your local weather report. Thanks, and back to you. Thanks, Ethan. There will be a mandatory baseball meeting for anyone planning on trying out this year on Friday at 3 in C-106. Wondering what's on the menu for today? Here is Jake Wilner with What's Cooking. Thanks, Joe. Today on the menu, we have a fish variety with mac and cheese with peas and carrots. For our sandwich bar, we have hamburgers, cheeseburgers, and chicken patties on a bun. We also have homemade cheese and pepperoni pizza with Bosco sticks. Lastly, at the grab-and-go bar, we have fresh salads, deli hoagies, wedding soup, and hot peas and carrots. That's what's cooking. Back to you. Now here is Brennan Campbell with the Wildcat Sports Report. Good morning, Wildcats. This weekend, sophomore Benny Kilcarry will be competing in the Whippeal Boys Wrestling Championships at Altoona Area High School. Good luck, Benny. The 10th seed boys basketball team played tough on Wednesday night in the first round of the Whippeal playoffs and beat the 7th seed Thomas Jefferson Jaguars 61-59. The team will take on number 2 seed Newcastle on Saturday at noon. Good luck, boys. Now here is reporter Luke Hannity with National Sports. Thanks, Brennan. Here is your National Sports Report for today. In NHL news, games will be played throughout the duration of the weekend on NBCSN and NHL Network. Locally, your Pittsburgh Penguins host the Philadelphia Flyers on Saturday at 1 p.m. Lastly, in NBA news, the All-Star festivities will be held on Sunday. To start off the events at 6 p.m., the Taco Bell Skills Challenge and following the Mountain Dew three-point contest will be held at State Farm Arena. For the All-Star game, Team LeBron will play Team Durant at 8 p.m. on TNT. During halftime, the AT&T Slam Dunk Contest will be held. That is all for National Sports. Back to you in the studio, Joe. As we begin the month of March, there will be some great opportunities to enjoy the night sky. Here is reporter Kanan Mulroy with the story. Stars, they've been around since the beginning of time, but do you really know what you're looking for? I got the chance to speak with Mr. Brandt, the local astronomy teacher at Greater Lake and he told me what to look for in the upcoming months in the sky, tips on how to find them, and I got to test out the tips for myself. During the months of February and March, more of the night sky will be visible. Some things that will be out in the winter sky is Orion. In the shoulders of Orion are stars Betelgeuse and Bellatrix, and in the feet and knees is Rigel. A little over from Orion is Sirius, the brightest star in Canis, which is nicknamed the Big Dog. Procyon is also part of Canis. Moving up from Canis is the twins of Gemini, Castor and Pollux. Moving over is Capella, which is in Origa. Then moving down to what looks like a V within Aldebaran is Taurus the Bull. Mars will also be visible in the winter sky. After talking to Mr. Brandt about tips on finding the stars and constellations, he recommends finding Orion first. Then once you find Orion, the other stars fall around it. 
get an app on your phone and then use your phone and, and just hold it up there and look. And some of them are actually dynamic and move around the sky with you. So use that to help you find those constellations. Astronomy is one of the oldest sciences. People have been looking up to the night sky for answers and inspiration since the beginning of time. So go out and try it for yourself. So I think it allows, no matter what brain type you are, to look up there and find some type of inspiration about life, about the universe. And it's also pretty cool to just sit around a campfire and, and look up at those and just ah, let your brain go. I got the chance to interview fellow stargazer Skylar Curry and ask her why she enjoys stargazing. The night sky has always interested me, so this year I had the opportunity to take astronomy with Mr. Brandt. Everything I've been learning is really interesting and cool to me, and um, stargazing is just something I can do with my family and friends that I enjoy. After talking to Mr. Brandt and gathering all of the tips on stargazing, I went out to test them for myself. Unfortunately, tonight the weather isn't the best, but in the upcoming months of March and April, the weather is more promising and you should have better stargazing experiences. Thanks, Kanan. We go now to Alexis Coletti with Wildcat World News. Good morning, Wildcats. Mississippi and Texas have ended their mask mandates and allowed for all businesses to open to 100% capacity. In other COVID news, the federal government has crossed the 100 million mark vaccine doses distributed, the CDC said Tuesday. And finally, U.S. can run on run primarily on renewable energy by 2050 for a cost of $1 per person per day, says new research from the University of San Francisco. That's all for Wildcat World News. Now here's Adina Pru with Entertainment News. Thanks, Alexis. In Entertainment News, Disney's newest series, WandaVision, has been a huge hit. WandaVision is a Marvel series about Wanda and her husband Vision's lives in their new home. However, Wanda has been hiding something. The beginning of the series looked a lot different from the ending. If you want to catch up with the series, it's available on Disney+. Plus. That's all for entertainment news. Back to Joe. Thanks for tuning in to this edition of WCAT-TV News. Have a great day, Latrobe.